Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video we are doing part two of my two-part series on how to find a job and how to win the interview. So in my last video I talked about the job search process and today we're going to talk about the interview. So how to prepare for an interview once you've gotten one and how to nail it once you're in it. And thank you to LexisNexis Canada for sponsoring this video. So let's get into it. The first thing that you should do, these are not in any particular order, but I do think that the first thing you should do is know all of the experience on your resume really well, no matter how small the experience is. In interviews, sometimes interviewers will ask you about a particular experience that you've had, and it might not even be the most relevant experience for the position. They just want to hear you talk about something that you've done and to kind of give them a little bit more information about it. So make sure you're prepared to answer any questions about any of the experiences on your resume and be able to easily identify any transferable skills that you've gotten from any of the experiences that you've had. Particularly if you've never had a legal job, you want to be able to identify those skills that you think are going to help you in this new position. So for example, if you've worked in customer service, that experience is great because ultimately the legal field is a client service industry. So any kind of customer service experience is going to help you as long as you can articulate why. The next tip is to go online and look for interview questions and practice them. If you are someone who is interviewing for a job during law school or for your first legal job, my guess is you're probably not going to get asked a lot of substantive questions. They might see how much you know about a particular area of law, but they're probably not going to ask you those really in-depth substantive questions, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. When you are practicing for your interviews, practice out loud. Like don't just sit there and like read a question and think about it in your head, you know, write it. You can write a couple things down, but practice it out loud. Practice it as if you are sitting in an interview and you are answering it. So if someone was to have asked you the question, how would you answer? Start to finish. If you have somebody to practice with, even better, because they can give you some feedback on how quickly you're talking, how smoothly, whether what you're saying actually makes sense, whether there's certain things that you could add. So if you have someone to practice with, that's great, but if you don't, practice out loud. Make sure that you are practicing it and answering the questions as if you are being asked in the interview right now. Ideally, when you are answering questions in an interview, you want the answers to be concise and responsive to the question that was asked of you and you want to be able to easily identify your relevant experience and your transferable skills. I'm guessing that all of your interviews that you're going to be doing for the foreseeable future are going to be via video chat so it might also help you to practice in front of a mirror or to practice on camera just so that you have that kind of feel. I know some people get weird in front of a camera so it might be helpful to practice that and make sure you feel comfortable in front of a camera and make sure you're not staring at yourself the entire time like I often do in the viewfinder. You don't want to be doing that in your interviews so practicing that is a great thing to do before your interviews. Another really important part of preparing for an interview is knowing the company or the law firm that you're applying for. So spend some time googling and researching the company, identifying if it's a law firm, identifying what practice areas that firm services, any particular values or mission statements that that firm or that company has. If you know the person that you're going to be interviewing with, it's also helpful to look that person up and see a little bit more about the work that they do and the experience that they've had. If it's a litigator that you are interviewing with who has litigated cases, it could also be helpful to look up their cases. LexisNexis actually has a tool that you can use that can help you and you can see what cases they have worked on and learn a little bit more about those cases. So with the cases advanced search function on Lexis advanced quick law, you can actually look up the cases that a law firm has been involved in. So if you go to the advanced search function and you click cases and then you scroll down to where it says counsel, you can put in the name of the law firm that you're interviewing with and it will bring up all the cases that that firm has been involved in. And you can sort them in whatever way is helpful for you, and you can go through them and learn a bit about them. And you can also see which lawyers 
were involved in those cases if you click on them. My main tip for discussing cases or any particular work that your interviewer has worked on is to know it really well because they know it better than probably anyone. So if you're going to mention a case or if you're going to talk about some work that they've done, make sure you know enough about it that you can actually discuss it in a thoughtful way. Don't just kind of look up the name and think that that's good enough. You should know a little bit about the case, um, have some thoughts on it and some thoughts on the decision because that will make it look like you actually know what you're talking about. <laughs> My last tip for preparing for an interview is don't try and memorize your answers to questions. So you wanna practice them enough that you can easily recall any relevant experience and any skills that you've obtained through that experience and any additional information that might be helpful to highlight about that experience, but you don't wanna be trying to memorize your answers because when you're nervous in an interview, you're not gonna remember exactly how you practiced it and you're going to end up getting tripped up on trying to recall exactly how you said it before and you're you're not going to thoughtfully answer the question. You're gonna to get too caught up in trying to say it exactly the same way. So as long as you've practiced it enough to know what experience you wanna highlight for a particular question and kind of the high points that you wanna hit on, that's all you need to know. So now it's time for the interview. Make sure you take your time answering questions. Don't just blurt out the first thing that comes into your head and don't feel like you have to answer right away. Feel free to take a breath and think about the question before you start answering. You can even say something like, let me just think about that for a second and really gather your thoughts before you start talking because you don't want to ramble and you don't want your answers to be longer than like 30 seconds to a minute. It depends on the particular question, but you don't wanna be talking for a long period of time because then it seems like your thoughts are disorganized. To make it sound like you know what you're talking about, try and be thoughtful when you answer and take your time. It also makes your answers come out a little bit smoother and more relaxed when you've taken a breath first and not tried to say it as quickly as possible and get it out as fast as you can. Make sure your answers are responsive to the questions that you're asked. So this one seems obvious, but if you've ever watched an interview with someone where, particularly like celebrity interviews or politicians or anything, when a question is asked of them and they don't answer that question, they kind of go off on a tangent. It's so frustrating. Don't be that person. Make sure that when you are practicing before your interview and in your interview itself, that you directly answer the question that's asked of you. You might want to provide a little bit of context, that's fine, but just don't get too caught up in the background information that you kind of lose track of what the actual answer is that you're aiming for. So be responsive and be concise. When you are recalling experiences, make it a story. Tell a story about that experience. Don't necessarily just pick out the high points. You wanna be concise, but say it in an engaging way. You want your interviewers to want to listen to you. You want them to wanna to know what happened next. It doesn't have to be necessarily chronological. It, it really depends on the question that you're being asked, but make it a story. Make it a very short story, but make it a story so it seems natural and conversational. Have some thoughtful questions to ask at the end of your interview. This is one of the most important tips, I think. I think sometimes people don't spend enough time coming up with really good questions to ask interviewers at the end of their interview, and I think that that's a mistake. You want to make sure before your interview that you're prepared with questions that are relevant and thoughtful and that you're actually asking the questions that you want the answers to. Remember that the interview is as much about you learning more about the company and interviewing the interviewers as it is about them learning about you. You want to make sure that that place and those people are going to be a good fit for you. So have some questions prepared that will help you determine if it's actually a place that you would want to work. Some questions that I like to ask are, what would a day look like for me if I were to work in this position? What would my day look like? What do you like about working in this law firm or in this company? What are some of the challenges that you face in this particular area of law? or in this position? What is the culture like? Those are all kinds of questions that will give you a little bit more insight into the position and the culture and the environment of 
the particular company or firm itself. And remember that your questions also have to be tailored to who is interviewing you. So you might be interviewed by someone from HR, you might be interviewed by someone who will eventually be your supervisor if you get the position, or you could also be interviewed by someone who would be your colleague. So make sure your questions are tailored to the person that's interviewing you. Usually you will know ahead of time what position that person holds before your interview, but if you don't, prepare for any of them. And I would suggest having more questions prepared than you necessarily need to ask because probably some of the questions will be answered during the course of the interview and depending on how much time you have at the end of your interview you may or may not be able to ask certain questions you might want to focus on shorter ones if you don't have as much time or focus on the really important ones so have a variety and have more than you think you'll need. Some tips for video interviews, because I know that's probably how most of you are going to be doing your interviews now. Be prepared for your video or your audio to cut out or for any other <laughs> technological issues because it's very possible that that's going to happen. The video might be laggy or the audio might be laggy. Make sure that you have patience and that you have practiced how to respond in those situations. You don't want to be in a position where they say something and you're like, huh, what? You want to be respectful and <laughs> polite and so know that that's a possibility that you're gonna have some technical issues and be prepared for it to happen so that your response isn't rude or that you're not caught off guard. Have a clean background for your interviews so it's okay to have something behind you but make sure that it's not super super busy. If you want to use the filters like if you're doing like a Teams interview or something you can use the background filters. I would suggest picking something really simple that's not going to distract from you and what you're saying it's up to you whether or not you want to use one of those filters depending on your particular circumstances and if you have a place that you can do an interview that doesn't have a really distracting background but just make sure that it's not going to distract from what you're saying and that it's not going to take away from your interview try to limit the noises around you as much as possible there are probably going to be situations where somebody is in an interview and maybe their kid walks in the video or their dog starts barking be prepared for unexpected noises to happen and just know that you are human and it's okay if that happens. I think interviewers are going to be more compassionate in their interviews now because everybody's at home and you can't control your environment in the same way that you can if you go into an office and do an interview. People have lives and they have families and sometimes depending on the circumstances you just can't get away from the noise. So if something happens if your dog starts barking or your child is crying or something like that or they run into the video try and stay relaxed and not let it distract from your train of thought so if you need to say i'm so sorry that my dog is barking let me just put him outside and then i'll be right back that's fine if you're in a situation where that's not going to help just know that it's possible that that's going to happen and be able to continue with what you're saying without being too interrupted you don't really want to make a big deal of it if the interviewer says something like it's it's okay you know take care of that then that's fine but try not to let it distract you too much from what you're talking about and from your train of thought. You don't want it to become too big of a deal. So just know that you're human, that hopefully the interviewers are going to acknowledge that this kind of thing happens when we are interviewing at home and just try to minimize the impact that it has on your interview as much as possible. One final tip for video interviews is don't be late. This is a general tip for every single interview, but particularly for interviews online, I would say don't be late because you actually have no excuse. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to sit in traffic or anything like that. Don't be late. Make sure that you have set up your computer and your camera and all that ahead of time that you've tested out your video tested out your audio make sure all of that is in order before your interview so that you can be on time uh, because there's a lot less excuses now to be late i have one last tip for anyone who is doing the on-campus interviews or any kind of recruitment process who is applying for a law job i was asked during one of my oci interviews what case that i had learned about that year or throughout my law school career thus far was the most interesting to me and what did I like about it? What did I know about it? And I didn't have a great answer. So don't let that be you. Make sure that you have some kind of a case that you can discuss in a meaningful way and know enough about it that you're not going to get tripped up in 
questions about it. You might not get that question, but I do think that that is probably a question that's pretty easy to ask, so have a good answer for that. <laughs> Again, I think I said this at the end of my last video, but just know that if you don't get the job, there are other opportunities out there. I had an OCI interview or a couple, I'm not sure, and I didn't get a job out of it. So for me, it was just good interview experience and I had to move on from that. I did end up getting a research assistant position that following summer and I also got an internship, which led to my articling position. So know that if you're doing any kind of recruitment, this is not your only opportunity to get a job. And no matter what interview you are doing, no matter what kind of job it is, it's not gonna be your only opportunity. So do the best that you can, but if it doesn't work out, that's okay. There's always gonna be another job to apply for. There's always gonna be another opportunity. So don't get discouraged. Job interviewing is tough. It's not fun at all. I don't think anyone actually enjoys it. So just try to make the most of it, get the most of the experience, learn from it, and move on to the next one. You know, that is it for my second video on interviewing. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this job searching and interviewing series. Hopefully you got some good tips from it that will help you if you're doing any kind of recruitment or you have any kind of job interviews coming up. Best of luck to you. I know how stressful it can be. Just be yourself, do the best that you can and kill it. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss my next videos and I will see you then. Bye.